To take control of Congress this year are focusing on being the back to school party, voicing the frustrations of many parents over what they would call government overreach when it comes to their children's education. Republicans hoping to take control of Congress, of course, uh, see themselves as, uh, again, a, a group that will galvanize the hopes and fears of so many uh, parents and families who think they should be allowed to get back to in person schooling and that they should also be allowed to know what they're children are learning on campus. More than 5,200 schools across the country switched to virtual learning again or canceled classes entirely for the first week of the new year. Niall Stanage, White House columnist for The Hill, joins me now. Niall, good morning to you. Happy Monday. Uh, this most recent spike in COVID cases has parents concerned. This is their third year of having to juggle schedules to account for children being at home and either learning or not having any schooling, extending that winter break. But there is frustration in both parties. Can you explain? Yeah, absolutely. There is, I think, massive exhaustion on the part of both parents and students. And the political squabble, Adrian, is really who's to blame for that. Now, if you listen to Republicans, they say Democrats are basically the party of school closures. And they say that stems from just too much timidity when it comes to opening schools. And they also suggest that that is um, related to the relationship between the Democratic Party and teachers unions. You ask Democrats, they say, no, 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 it's nothing to do with that. It's the fact that uh, Democrats point to the fact that there are a lot more schools open now than there were when President Biden was first elected. They point to 130 billion for schools in the COVID relief plan. And they also say that some Republicans have engaged in rather uh, reckless rhetoric about vaccines and masks. And they say that is one of the contributory factors to the delay in but schools opening. It's not just in regards to COVID. COVID, though, uh, of course, there are a lot of concerns regarding virtual learning versus in-person learning. But when Re Republican Glenn Youngkin upset Terry McAuliffe in the Virginia governor's race, he tapped into some of the uh, fears that parents were not being kept in the loop in terms of curriculum. Uh, there was uh, teaching that was going on they wanted to know more about. Uh, but can Republicans actually use that as sort of a playbook for this year's midterms? You make a great point, Adrian, which uh, in relation to the Virginia race, which was that the issue of education was really a kind of a, a basket into which several different topics were placed. So there were COVID closures, there was the co uh, controversy over critical race theory or wokeness, there was a general perception that school boards were, were frankly a bit arrogant in the way they conducted themselves. Republicans are definitely looking at that playbook. It did, after all, help Glenn Young can win a state that President Biden had won by 10 points only a year before. So that is certainly a kind of pattern that Republicans would love to replicate. Yeah. Niall Standage from The Hill. I know we're out of time already. It's parting is such sweet sorrow. I wish I could talk to you longer. All this trouble, but thanks, Adrian. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Niall. See you soon. The NFL, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.